Japan's railways are best known for their incredible high speed trains, and today I'm going to be trying out the newest generation of bullet train. We'll be looking at the shiny stations and the insanely fast route, all while travelling in a luxurious comfy armchair. Welcome to the Nishi Kyushu Shinkansen, the latest and greatest Japanese train. We'll travel from the western city of Nagasaki through to the connecting hub of Takio Onsen. So join me as we take a special look at this high speed train. Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm here in Nagasaki in Japan and I'm going to be travelling on board the Nishi Kyushu Shinkansen up to Takio Onsen. I'll be riding on Japan's newest high speed train, the Kamome. So let's go! A station on this site first opened in 1905, though many different overhauls have taken place since. The latest was a complete rebuild in 2020 to prepare the station for the arrival of the high speed Shinkansen. This service was launched recently, in late September 2022, though the station is still served by numerous local trains. Let's head inside this new building ahead of today's exciting journey. Nagasaki Station consists of a spacious and clean underpass, from which you can access the station's two departure areas. It features all the amenities you'd expect at a major Japanese station, with ticket machines in three colours, each for a different purpose. There's also a staffed ticket office, should you have any troubles. You can also find the usual shops and catering outlets here, such as a Family Mart convenience store just by the entrance. Though if you fancy a meal or some shopping, there's a small shopping centre located just next door. Nagasaki Station has 8 tracks. Four of these are in the Japanese narrow gauge of 1067mm. These serve regional trains towards Sasebo and Hisenhama. Previously, an express train to Hakata also terminated here, but more about that later on. In Japan, the Shinkansen network is almost always behind a special gate line, in a separate area to other tracks. To gain access, simply insert your travel ticket. No contactless cards are accepted at this station. My train today will be Kamome 40, the 1542 which is advertised as running to Hakata. In reality, this train will only run to Takio Onsen, where a 3 minute connection is held, allowing passengers to connect to Hakata. Shinkansen trains run on international standard gauge. Unfortunately, the route beyond Takio Onsen has not yet been built, thanks to many years of political challenges, hence requiring the so-called relay service. Now on to the incredible high-speed train that will be carrying us for this journey. This is an N700S8000 series, the newest in the fleet. They can already be found running at great speed in many other parts of Japan, but have only recently been introduced on this brand new route. Unlike most other Shinkansen, these are short trains with just six carriages. Rather amusingly, the exciting and evocative name of Kamome actually just translates as Seagull. And the train's visual design and branding both represent this well. We'll be riding on set Y4, built by Hitachi and delivered to JR Kyushu Division in September 2022. Anyway, it's soon time for departure, so let's get ready for boarding. Each door on the train attracts an orderly queue of passengers, and once the platform gates are released, everyone calmly walks onto the train. I'll be travelling in coach 1 today, at the very rear of the train. This is one of the reserved carriages. Coach 1, 2 and 3 at the Nagasaki end are all reserved seating, while Coach 4, 5 and 6 at the other end are unreserved, with a very different interior that we'll look at later on. Seating is in a 2 plus 2 layout, and thanks to the rotating design, all seats face forward. My reservation is seat 4D, a window seat. By the way, a reserved seat does come at an additional charge over the regular ticket, but more details on the price of this journey near the end. Today's route will take us north from Nagasaki, heading along the Nishi Kyushu Shinkansen line, along the coast and through mountains before arriving into Takio Onsen. 
The trip is scheduled to take 31 minutes to cover the 66 kilometers, or about 41 miles of track. We end up departing one minute behind schedule at 15.43. Our short and speedy journey across the Japanese island of Kyushu begins smoothly and silently. The suspension on these trains is so good you can barely tell you're moving. Unfortunately, as is the case with many new high-speed lines, over half of the route today is in a tunnel. But don't worry, the rest of the video is more than just the darkness of a cave, as there's plenty to see on board. And let's start with the seating. I really like the traditional Japanese design of these seats, with real wood and intricate fabric patterns. For comfort, they're really good. The eight-piece cushion offers fantastic padding, with good ergonomics too. There's also a very soft head cushion, with a smart leather cloth on top. Next to the seat, you can find a button for recline. This offers a much more comfortable angle to relax. Legroom on this train is more than adequate, thanks to the rotating seats requiring a lot of room. Just look at how much space there is to stretch out. Between each pair of seats, you'll find folding tables located in the armrest. These are very small, but good enough for a drink or other small items. It's also fairly durable. On the seat in front, you can find a small storage net. Above the seats, you'll find large overhead racks for luggage. There's also loads of coat hooks, each seat gets two. If it's too bright outside for you, then there are ornately designed window blinds. But let's take a look outside at how the journey is progressing. With so much of the route being in a tunnel, it can be difficult to see the outdoors. Sometimes you'll be lucky to even get a glimpse. But after a few minutes of high speed running, we begin to slow down for our first stop. This is Isahaya, a fairly small city by Japanese standards, with 130,000 people calling it home. The acceleration on these trains is seriously impressive. It doesn't quite push you back into your seat, but it's noticeably powerful. This means we soon get up to our top speed of 260 km an hour. And this acceleration is useful, as we are already slowing down for our next station. This is Shin Omura, just a short walk away from the shores of Omura Bay. Within this is an island hosting Nagasaki Airport. Omura is where we spend the most time outside, so it was nice to look out of the window at what a lovely day we're having. It's also the site of a JR Shinkansen depot, where the fleet of four high-speed trains are maintained. With a great view over the bay, it's straight back into a tunnel. So let's go for a walk around the rest of the train. Throughout the consist, you can find some luggage stacks for larger items of luggage. All vestibules feature different posters with drawings of the Kamome fleet. I really liked this touch. The artwork has a great vibe. Carriage 3 features an impressive four wheelchair spaces, which have to be reserved. There are even straps to secure the chair in place. Just next to this, you can find a wheelchair accessible toilet, as well as a multi-purpose room. The train also features multiple urinals throughout, as well as some regular toilets. These were in great condition, totally clean for the whole journey. There's a sink provided for rinsing your hands, though no soap, we'll get to that in just a second. Toilet paper is available, as well as a Japanese full electronic bidet system. As there's no soap in the toilet room, you instead come to a separate sink to wash your hands. Here, the soap was well stocked, and the water was working fine. I mentioned earlier that the non-reserved seats have a lower price, so let's go and take a look. The non-reserved carriages are in a 2 plus 3 seating layout, making them a lot less spacious. 
However, this is still a perfectly comfortable way to travel for a short journey like this one. Our next station is Ureshino Onsen. As indicated by the word onsen in the name, this city is known for its hot spring resorts, much like our end destination today. Oh, and before I forget, this train does have Wi-Fi, but I didn't use it due to the short journey length. You can also find a pair of Japanese-style plug sockets between each of the seats. Now on to how much this trip costs. I was using a JR Pass, so I just made a free seat reservation with this. A regular ticket without reservation costs 3,070 yen, with a 530 yen extra charge for the reserved carriage. This comes to a total of 3,600 Japanese yen, which certainly isn't cheap for such a short journey, even if it is very high quality. As we approach the narrow gauge line from Haiki and Sasebo, it's a sign we're soon arriving at the interchange station. We of course arrive on time, at 16.13, ready for the relay connection to Hakata just a few steps away. Overall, I really enjoyed my trip on the Nishi Kyushu Shinkansen. The interior was fantastic, and the speed and frequency was also impressive. But as always, let me know what you thought of the Kamome service in the comments, and for a look at Europe's newest high-speed train, the DB ICE 3 Neo, then click up here now.